Today's pageant day, and I'm gonna take you with me on all the behind the scenes. <laughs> T minus like one hour till we leave. I did all my makeup. Now we just gotta take out the hair and change for interview. This is gonna decide how good my day's gonna go. <laughs> so pageant day starts off with a private interview between you and like a panel of five to six judges. This is the most important part, but no one gets to see it. Your oh, hair, see? good day. Oh, slay. This was my interview outfit. It's a blue jumpsuit, and of course, I added a bindi. I was so nervous for interview. It's 10 minutes, and the judges basically receive your paperwork a couple <laughs> weeks in advance, and they can ask you anything, whether it's about you or your CSI. This contestant number eight, Sahana Karki. <laughs> when it came to this competition, I really wanted to incorporate something Indian in every single category, so that's why I chose to wear the bindi. And we finished interviews, and we're going to rehearsal. Wow. Well, hey! <laughs> This is our chance to try on all our outfits, practice the walking patterns, and ask any questions before the competition. And then after rehearsals, we had a little break to touch up our hair and makeup. Okay, we finished everything. Now we just have like 45 minutes to get ready before the show. Okay, we have 15 minutes. I'm just gonna start taking out my runners. Oh, that's a good one. I'm excited. <laughs> I really like it. I'm just gonna it out. <laughs> Pageants are really weird because you're putting in all this time and effort, but when you think about it, you're really only on stage for a couple of minutes, and it sucks to know that these couple of minutes can basically make or break the last few months you've been preparing. Okay, I'm all done. This is the full outfit. <laughs> I added these little pearls, and then these are the earrings. We are about to go on. <sighs> After we have on stage question and no we don't know these before. At what age is it appropriate for youth to have a cell phone capable of accessing social media and other apps where they can share personal information and that poses a threat to their safety? There's already a lot of statistics that talk about the development of a child's brain and at what ages they're having access to certain information. Regardless of whether we give children cell phones, the fact is they have access to the internet and they're going to find this information. Contestant number eight, Sahana <laughs> Park. I just finished fitness and then we have talent, then evening gown. Okay, now I'm about to go on for my talent. This is what I look like. And after talent, the final category was evening gown and I did end up wearing the purple dress. Okay, for this pageant, there's 13 girls, one title, and two runner-ups. I'm not going to give you any spoilers yet, but here's the end of the night. We finished the pageant, Miss Southern Utah. <laughs> this is our post-dinner outfit. <laughs> I want to bet. Slay. <laughs>